What's up guys, this is Sweet Football here. I've um, sorted out a name for this channel, which is all good. Obviously it's related to my gaming channel, which the link to that will be in the description. Go check it out. But this is episode 2 of Let's Talk Football. Um, big thanks to everyone who left the comment on yesterday's episode. It's really helpful. Um, but let's move on. Um, today is about the Capital One Cup. Obviously, last night's fixtures went um, were kind of interesting. There was a couple of shocks in there. And I also want to talk about tonight, obviously, because there's a massive game tonight. The rematch between um, Chelsea and Man U. But firstly, let's start with um, yesterday's biggest game, obviously. The one that was... Uh, it was really, really interesting. Um, Wigan Bradford, yes, um, that was a really no, no. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But um, congratulations for Bradford for uh, for taking out Wigan. But I was just joking. No, let's move on to um, what obviously was the uh, biggest game, most interesting game yesterday, and um, that's obviously the Arsenal game, the um, seven five in extra time, incredible football match, and um, you know, hats off to to the, the Arsenal players that came out and, and they really did um, bring something inside of them that they, they obviously didn't have in the first half and, and brought it to Reading and, and took the game by the uh, by the scruff of the neck and, and, and dealt with whatever Reading threw at them in the end. And I think the ones that really were pushing, you know, Arsenal way up the pitch were the likes of Giroud, Walcott and Koscielny. The th them three, I think, were the biggest ones yesterday. They were driving forward on every opportunity. Koscielny probably lucky to stay on the pitch, made a few bad tackles um, in dangerous areas of the pitch where he probably should have got a second yellow card, but um, didn't receive one for, for whatever reason. And um, obviously they needed him on the pitch or I think Reading would have took the game. Now there's controversial um, stuff in that game when uh, Wigan, no not when Wigan, when um, Reading were 4-0 uh, up, and the um, Danny Guthrie um, should have had a penalty, got pushed over. They didn't get it, and that happens in football at times. Um, and Arsenal responded well. Walcott obviously getting a hat-trick. You know, if you give him the goal over Jenkinson, which I think he deserves it. And I'm so happy that I watched that game, and um, that was around to watch that game, because I wouldn't want to miss it. Um, another game yesterday, um, Swindon Villa. Um, big big credit to uh, to Swindon, who um, obviously brought it back to 2-2 after Benteke and Agbonlahor goals, and then Benteke silenced it in the 90th minute. And um, I've been hating on Benteke in um, on my um, other channel, because I do a Premier League report on there where I review the Premier League matches, and I've been hating on Benteke. I've been saying that he's not a good enough striker, and um, his finishing's very much under par. But he um, scored twice yesterday. Agbon Hall on the score sheet, I don't see where Darren Bent comes into the equation anymore. He um he seems to be a forgotten man a bit. And um you know, if Ben Teke and Agbon Hall are scoring, they're not gonna look to about Darren Bent. But it was only Swindon, but um congratulations to Villa. Um but let's move on to tonight. I'm not gonna sit here and um pick through the Chelsea Man U game from earlier this week. Because obviously there's there's obvious stuff that people have been over, over and over, about obviously the um, Evans tackle on Torres, the sending off, Ivanovic sending off, Hernandez goal. It's, it's all been done. I, I will quickly quickly say a little bit about the Torres one though. Um, Evans made contact, and therefore it is a foul, and he did not dive. That's all I want to say. Nothing more on the subject. Now, um, and obviously, I think they deserve to draw. Maybe didn't deserve to win United, but um, it's my opinion. You can disagree. But let's move on to tonight. It's it's obviously going to be um, a different equation. I think we can safely say that Daniel Sturridge and Azpil Coetta will start because of, obviously, the um, suspensions to Ivanovic and um, Fernando Torres. But um, it's going to be a different tie tonight. They're... they're Obviously, going to field different teams, second string sides. And I think today we'll get to see who's got the better squad, who's got the better second team, whether it's us or United. Because I don't see too many first team players that will play for either side. I think, you know, possibly Hernandez will start. Um, 
obviously because he doesn't get a start too much lately. And um, he, he'll he be the biggest danger on the pitch, I think, and Chelsea need to watch him. He has a habit of popping up and, and scoring goals. And um, they'll have to deal with Sturridge. Sturridge is a top quality forward and um, scores goals himself. So I, I think either side has, has strong points. But I think the weak point for United is that it's said that um, Keane... Uh, the Vermalge guy, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, and and a couple of others, Scott Wooten, uh, will also start in, in the back line, and I think Chelsea will have too much of that. I think we've got some top quality players, and I think we'll approach the game with um, a bit more want, I think. I think Chelsea will take this game a lot more seriously than United because of us getting beaten at the weekend and, and feeling hard done by that I think we'll want to win this one just to get a bit of revenge. And I hope for our sake we do, because um, if you look at the um, Capital One Cup, if we get to the quarterfinals, if United gets to the quarterfinals, I fancy one of the two teams to win it because obviously the likes of Man City are gone. And um, Chelsea and United are the strongest sides in there and definitely have the squads to balance this competition with others. But um, I'm going to throw my head in the line and say Chelsea are going to win 2-1. Um, I want to know, if anyone's watching this, what you guys think will be the score and um, who do you think will score the goals? I'm going to go 2-1, goal from Sturridge, um, maybe a goal from... I don't know who else is going to start, but um, definitely a goal from Sturridge in there and I reckon Hernandez will get, um, get United. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, feel free to comment, that would be great. Give your own opinion on the um, yesterday's games and uh, the Chelsea game later today. Um, I'm very happy about the feedback I got in the last episode. And if you want to go check out my gaming channel, the link to that will be in the description below. Um, thanks for watching. Goodbye.